How to check a job in. From the menu on the job or supplying tab, choose check job in. Here you will see all items to be checked into the job. For items that were dispatched without barcodes, select the item and click no code check to return them. Here you also have the option to mark the asset or assets as damaged or lost. Sales or consumable items do not have to be checked in, however it can be if they have been returned unused and you wish to return them to stock. If your assets have been checked out with barcodes, they should also be returned by typing or scanning the barcode. Options for the next barcode scan to open a pre-prep box or be marked as damaged or lost can be selected from the drop-down list. Barcode commands are also available from the help pop-out on the centre right of the screen. In this case, the asset with barcode 2921 is damaged and the rest of the assets are being checked back in normally. Once everything has been checked, the job will automatically be marked as returned. Reloading the job, we can see that checking an asset as damaged has automatically created a pop-up to flag this to any user viewing the job. Additionally, an extra item is also added to the supplying list for the replacement cost of the damaged item, which can be amended as required. If you have a build-up of items returned from multiple jobs, you can also check these in from one place via the Scan All In option available as a preset search on the homepage. Here you will see all items to be checked in from all jobs and you can simply scan any asset in and it will be returned to the relevant job.